Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Maxim Vashilagrav and Levon Aronian. This game was played in Bucharest, Romania in 2022. MVL had white pieces and he started with d4. Knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, the Nimzo, Indian defense. Knight to f3, d5, transposing to the queen's gambit, declined, Ragozin defense. Pinning the knight, d takes on c4, e4, threatening, e5. Aronian played c5, attacking the white center. Bishop takes on c4, let's take it back, if e5, then c takes on d4, if pawn takes knight, g takes on f6, after bishop to h4, knight to c6, and black is doing well. Back to our game. So in this position, we all played bishop takes on c4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop takes on c3, pawn takes bishop, queen to a5, bishop to b5 check, that's from b to d7, bishop takes knight, and now not pawn takes bishop, but queen takes on c3 check, why to move, perhaps king to f1 was expected, king to e2 was played, preparing for the end game, queen to b2 check, queen to d2, Queen takes queen, king takes queen, g takes on f6. Who is better? Black is a pawn up, but white has a better activity of the pieces. The game continued. Rook from a to c1, Aronian castled king's side. Rook to c7, invasion on the seventh rank. Rook to d8, king to e3. At least visually, white is standing better. Do you agree? And also, there is an impression that white king is better placed for the endgame. But this all may be an optical illusion. The game continued. Knight to b6. Knight to b3. Black to move. How should black continue? Aronian played the best move f5, bishop to d3, rook to b8, f4, black to move. How would you continue now? Aronian played this awesome move. e5, sacrificing the pawn. So what is so special about the move? Let's see what is so special. f takes on e5. So, what was the idea behind the pawn sacrifice? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? This was the idea. f4, a deflection tactic. King to d2. If king takes pawn, then rook takes bishop. Back to our game. King to d2. And now, bishop to e6. Black developed his bishop, connected rooks, and stands better. King to c3, rook from b to c8, rook takes rook, rook takes rook check. White to move. King to d4 was played. If king to b2, then knight to d7. Back to our game. King to d4. With this move, the white king is taking care of the pawn on e5. Some people in the audience thought that the white king is better placed for the endgame than the black king. What do you think of that? But the white king is quite exposed. Can black take an advantage of the exposed white king? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Black, play the move when white resigned, and the move is knight to a4. 
white resigned. There is no sensible defense against rook to d8 check. So we may as well play a random move. And then rook to d8 check mate. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.